Hey guys, what's up? It's Dean with Manful Yoga, and this is a collaboration with Sean Vig. So I do not have the Colorado mountains in the background, but I have the Austin skyline. So it's it's not as good, but it's all right. So um, I'm filming right now at Auditorium Shores, if this looks familiar to you. Let's get into the video. So we've got Sean Vig, um, who is another YouTube, uh, YouTube Pilates and yoga guy. Not another, because I don't do Pilates, but he is YouTube's most watched, YouTube, uh, YouTube's most watched Pilates and yoga dude. Um, so he's got a fantastic channel, an awesome personality, sings opera while doing yoga. So it's pretty interesting. Um, pretty awesome though. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, spend a, a spent long conversations on the phone with him. So. I'm gonna go through the uh, through the cool down. I'm sorry, not the cool down. I'm gonna go through the warm up with you as well as a strength section. And Sean is going to do a pretty vigorous power flow and cool down section. So um, let's get started. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about Sean as I'm going. We're gonna start off just in a basic warrior. Actually, let's start off in a, a deep squat pose. So I want your feet about shoulder width distance apart and squeezing your legs toward one another. Push your butt down and back and elbows insides your knees just to help get into your groin a little bit here. And then I want you to lean way back. So we're working on engaging all the muscles in your legs, getting you, getting your muscles ready, getting your body to move today. So legs squeezing toward one another. Make sure your knees are behind your toes, chest lifted so you feel your core nice and engaged. Arms out in front if you'd like, palms facing up. So while we hold this and uh, get your muscles warm, let me talk about Sean a little bit. Um, he has got some very, very useful resources on Amazon right now. Um, similar to me, he writes eBooks. He's got Pilates and yoga books. So if you're looking for a different type of yoga or just a different approach, different style, I would check out Sean. And of course, he's got Pilates. I don't do that, so I would look at that. All right, that's enough of that. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna go to a low lunge from here. So start with your left foot forward, drop your right foot to the back, take the knee down, untuck your back foot. And make this active. So I'm gonna squeeze my left hip back, squeeze my right hip forward, lift up tall, elbows out to my sides in goal post arms. And squeeze your elbows out wide while squeezing your shoulder blades toward one another. So you're gonna make this active, getting your shoulders warm. We've got a lot of down dog, a lot of a lot of flowing, a lot of chaturanga, a lot of push-ups playing today. So I wanna make sure your shoulders are nice and open and also warmed up. Again, squeezing your elbows toward the back, pulling your shoulders down, pressing your hips forward, but keeping your shoulders right above your hips, straight line from pubic bone to shoulder to sternum. All right, we're gonna hold on, switch sides, step up, forward fold, and then go ahead and step to the back with your left foot now, left knee down, untuck your back foot, squeeze your left hip forward, pull your right hip back, Lean forward, so feel the stretch in the front of your left hip. Arms out to goal post arms, elbows squeezing back, shoulders down. But try to keep straight line from your pubic bone up to your shoulders again. So this is gonna help you open up your shoulders instead of flaring open your chest, which just arches your back, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not the goal. Make sure that your elbows are level with your shoulders, elbows pushing out wide. You should feel stretching in your chest and in your shoulders here. Chin up away from the chest, neck pulling back. All right, lower your hands down, step up to a forward fold. <sighs> Look behind you, tuck your chin to your chest. Let your upper body hang heavy here, no wrinkles in the neck. And then go ahead and drop your butt down. Pull your knees back, pull your butt back, and come up into a chair pose with your legs just a little bit apart. Push your butt down and back, knees behind the toes, not letting your knees go forward. Arms up, opening up your shoulders. This is building off of the goalpost arms we just had. Make sure that your spine is flat, your core is strong and engaged. One more breath here. And then stand up all the way. Reach up, reach back. Look up toward the sky. Squeeze your arms back. Keep your legs straight, pushing down through your heels. And then bring your hands back to center. All right, we're going to go into a warrior one from here. And we're gonna add in some different arm variations just to get you warm in your arms again. So let's start with the right foot back. Pull your left hip, right hip back, left hip back, right hip forward, butt under your torso. And again, try to get that straight line from your pubic bone up to your shoulders. Back leg stays straight. 
From here, arms out wide, press your fingers out in opposite directions. Just try to get that stretch through your whole upper body. Feel the stretch in your biceps, forearms, and then reach your fingertips back toward your the insides of your, sorry, the outsides of your arms, pressing your palms out wide, feeling a stretch in your forearms. And then swing your right arm, sorry, left arm under your right arm and press the backs of your hands together for an active eagle. So pushing the backs of your hands together instead of interlacing your fingers to engage the muscles in your back. Make sure you're still pulling forward with your right hip, keeping your tailbone reaching down. So trying to scoop your butt under your torso, getting a hip stretch, but also engaging your core here. And then interlace your fingers now. And you can kind of relax your arms. Keep your shoulders down and your elbows up. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Chin pulling toward your throat, top of the head up toward the ceiling. And then from here, we're gonna go into an airplane. So I want you to lower your hands down in front of your left foot, lift your right foot off the ground, point your toes back, and keep your hands on the ground. I want you to look back at your right hip, look back at your left hip, make sure that your hips are level. So if you see that your right hip is hiked all the way up in the air, pull it down. Pull your left hip away from your left shoulder, pull your body forward, work on engaging your glute, stretching your hamstring, and keep your right leg really active here, pointing the top of your head forward, engaging your muscles in your right leg, not just leaving your left leg out to dry here, one more breath here. And then step your right foot next to your left foot. Take a forward fold. And then drop your butt down. Pull your chest forward. Lift all the way up. Arms overhead. Palms touch. And hands back to center. All right, we're going to go to the opposite side now. So now the left foot is forward. We just had the left foot forward. Now your right foot is forward. Your left foot is back. Pull your right hip back, pull your left hip forward. Again, scoop your butt under your torso. So you're in a nice warrior one pose. Straight line from your pubic bone up to your shoulders, through your sternum up to the shoulders. Chest is open, but your chest is not flared open. Back is flat, and then bring your arms out wide. Push your arms in opposite directions. And then this time, bring your fingers toward the insides of your wrist. Push the backs of your hands away from one another. And now you're stretching the backside of your upper body. Keep your butt reaching down. By that, I mean butt under your torso, not letting your butt poke out behind you. So not letting this arch in your back happen, but keeping your back as flat as you can here, getting a really nice stretch in the front of your left hip. And then swing your left arm under your right arm. Or sorry, right arm under your left arm now. And press the backs of your hands together. Relax the shoulders, elbows up and really engaging your muscles here on your arms, pressing the backs of your hands together, reaching your tailbone down still, hips squared up toward the front, neck long, chin toward your throat, top of your head up toward the ceiling. And then go ahead and interlace your fingers for the stretching version of Ego. So the reason I like doing both of those, one of them is active and one of them is passive. So one of them stretches while the other one strengthens. <sighs> one more breath here. All right, and then unwind your arms, lower your hands to the ground, and then lift your left foot off the ground, point your toes to the back, and again, look at your belly button, make sure that your hips are level. Point your toes to the back, pull your right hip away from your right shoulder, use the muscles in your left leg, don't leave your right leg out to dry here, and then pull your body forward. Keep your hands on the ground, this is gonna help you engage your glute more and level out your hips, which is important for what we do later. Push the top of your head forward. Point your toes and your left foot as much as you can. Ah, you'll feel stretching in your back here. Also in your glute and your hamstring. And you should feel your left leg working. One more breath here. All right, and then set your foot down. Forward fold. Relax your head and your neck. No wrinkles there. And then drop your butt down. Pull your chest forward, arms out wide, lift all the way up. <sighs> Hands back to center. All right, your turn, Sean. 
All right, thanks, Dino. Let's come into downward facing dog. Gonna build some flows, some vinyasa power flows. Always modify as needed. Bring the feet hip width apart, arms shoulder width, downward facing dog, a little side to side. Wanna keep the spine loose. Open those fingers wide, relax the neck. Lots of breath, breathing into those deep abdominal muscles, into the belly button. Inhale forward, plank position. Elbows in, pull the shoulders back, pull the uh, hands back, press that ground away. You never know what's gonna pop out of the grass here. Moving into hover, chaturanga, press forward through the toes, shoulders in front of the wrists, elbows hugging the sides and lead with your chest. Down, drop the knees to modify. Working the arms, shoulders, core, and a little bit of the nose. All the way down, lift those shoulders up, lift up into cobra. Elbows in, chest is open. Are we still there? Are you still there? Is this thing on? And then tuck the toes, take it back. Downward facing dog. Let's put that flow together. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff off this power vinyasa flow. Inhale forward, forward, and hover. Really work the arms. Uh, smell the mat. Smell the glow. A little homage to spinal tap there. <laughs> All right. Bring it back. Take your left foot forward. Lunge gonna get a, some movement going. Oh, balance, there we are, some movement going. Now, bring the hands down, step back, plank, hover. Get that flow going, get that language going. All right, downward facing dog. Take your right foot forward, lunge, balance, lift. Excellent. Step back, plank, hover. Build that strength. Gonna repeat these a few times. Get that movement. All right, left foot forward again, lunge, lift, arms back a little further, shoulders relax, good, step back, and hover, jump back, kiss myself, there we are, down dog, right foot forward, lunge, there we are, shoulders down, stretch that back leg, work that core, come forward, step back, plank, hover, hold it here for a moment. Build that strength, build that power, that control, and that precision. All right, now adding in a little scorpion aspect. Left foot forward for the lunge. Now come down, we're gonna kick that left leg back. Scorpion hover. There we are. You don't get it right away, that's fine. We'll do it a few times. Got you covered, down dog. Bring the left, or sorry, right foot up. Right foot forward, lunge. And kick, right foot back. There we are, a little hop if you like. And then up dog, let's do it one more time on each side. Left foot forward, lunge, balance. This is vigorous, we keep on moving. And then left foot, kick it back, a little hop if you want. Controlled, excellent. Woo! Down dog, right foot forward. Lift up. Stretch the back leg, work the core, reach back. And now the right leg goes back. Hop if you like. There we are. Woo! Little twist, twist it side to side. Take one leg, bring it back behind the other. Love this, really loosens up the lower back. It looks like a Jean-Claude Van Damme move, which we love. All right, downward facing dog. Why don't you jump or walk the feet? To the hands. <sighs> Crouching tree. Take the right ankle. Hey, there we go. Right ankle. Top of the thigh. Hands together. Crouch it down. <sighs> As you exhale, sink down a little lower. As you inhale, lengthen through the top of the head. <sighs> All right, we have our scorpion again. We're going to place the hands down. Right foot, right leg goes back. Jump <sighs> and then down, okay? Whew. Back. Two down dog, jump or walk forward. Other side, left ankle, hold. that's right, right thigh. There we are, crouch down. Keep that chin tucked a little bit. All right, place the hands down, kick it back, left leg up, and then through. All right, very nice, let's do it one more time on each side. So down dog, forward, place, Crouching tree. Right ankle, left thigh. Press back further, engage the glutes, open that right hip. 
There's a bee buzzing around me. All right, hands down, kick it back, right leg up, and sweep through. There we are, down dog, jump forward, ankle on thigh, it's just waiting for you. Sink back a little more. Good. One more breath. Really into that pose. All right, kick it back. Through. Ah, fantastic. Downward facing dog. Smush those heels down a few times. Lengthen the arms. Relax the neck. Let it travel from the tips of the fingers to the heels. That stretch. Okay, adding warrior three to the mix. So take that left leg up, sweep the left foot forward to lunge. We're going to lift up, sink down in the pose. Now put the weight into your left foot. Warrior three, reach the arms forward. Soften that left knee a little bit, lifting that right leg up. Good, now step back to lunge. Add the scorpion or just kick both the legs back. So left leg up and bring it through. Good, always get this stretch right here. Down dog, right foot forward and lunge. Sink the shoulders down. Always getting better with the poses, always improving. Always be closing. Now forward, warrior three. I'm standing on a stump. <laughs> Filming outside at 8,000 feet in the mountains of Colorado, by the way. All right, step back. Excellent. Now, take it through that vinyasa flow again. Kick up if you like. That's an add-on, work your way up to it. Good, listen to your body. Let's do one more on each side. Left foot forward. Happy lunge, fix the blouse. Sink those shoulders down. Sink that right heel on the mat, and now warrior three. This time, take the arms back behind you. Lace the fingers. We have the mudra. Open the chest. Stretch the shoulders. That's right, and then back. Oop, there we go. Into lunge. Vinyasa flow. Very light, very light. Control it. Downward facing dog. Right leg up, right foot forward. Hello, lunge. Sink it down. And now, into that mudra, warrior three. Find that focus. There we are. Long neck, keep the chin tucked. It's a beautiful thing. All right, step it back. Lunge. Vinyasa flow. Oh, I love that. Practice it, practice it. And back to downward facing dog. <sighs> stretch it out. Walk those legs out a little bit. A little stretch here, twist. <sighs> All right, then jump or walk the feet forward. Chair pose, bring the arms up. <sighs> there we are. As you inhale, lift just the arms. Exhale, press back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Three more times. There we go. One more time. All right, rise up. Lace the fingers. Mudra. Stretch out those arms. Bend the knees. Palms together if you can. Massive stretch for your chest and your shoulders. Two more deep breaths right here. Put the weight in the toes. All right, release the arms, rising up. All right, now take the arms up over the head. Lift, 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 palms coming together. So that once again, little back bend, back bend, exhale, pull those hands down. And let's drop down, step or jump back to plank, go through the flow. We're gonna come into the extended triangle. So go through that vinyasa flow, squeeze the glutes, the thighs, Press back, take your left leg, bring it forward, triangle pose. Pivot the right foot out. We rise up, reach, back of the hand, inside leg, and extend your top arm. Look at your armpit, look at it. Mmm. 
If you want more, take this arm up, fingertips together, really hits the core. Strength all through here in the core. Five more breaths. Squeeze those thighs with every exhale. Okay, now bring the hands down, step back. If you want, you can just step to plank or fling that left foot up if you're really into those scorpions. And then down dog. Are you ready? Other side, extended triangle. Here we go. Right foot forward, pivot up, and there we are. The big add on right here. Something's itching me, something's biting me. Five breaths. Beautiful day. You can see the aspens in the mountains there, little yellow spots. One more breath. Woo! Turn it and then kick it back. Oh, the hop. At the hop. Ah. So that one more time. Each side, left leg up. Triangle. Arms out, reach. Find it. Here we go. You must find presence in each and every pose. Enjoy it, even as you're getting bit. One more breath. All right, bring it down again. Remember, the hop is optional, so is the leg. You can just step back to plank, all right? Let's finish it up, right foot forward. Extended triangle. Five breaths. One more. Oh, get the shakes. So good. Kick it back. Bring it through. And then downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Walk the legs. Add a twist. You want that flexibility training. You want the length. You want the release. Okay, one last flow before we turn it back over to Dean. I want you to walk or jump your feet to the hands. Again, crouching tree. Take your right ankle on the left thigh. It's going to be crouching tree to reverse warrior to scorpion. Let's see how we do with this. So press back a little further. No doubt your body is acclimated a little bit more. One more breath. Now take your right foot, bring it back. Reverse warrior up and back. Pivot that uh, right foot in, by the way. And then we inhale, pinwheel up, kick that left leg back, scorpion, bring it through, brush the nose on the mat, back to down dog, jump or walk the feet forward, left ankle, right thigh, hello. Is it me you're looking for? Good, press back a little further. There we are. And now reverse warrior, exhale, left foot back and reach. Extend. Inhale, pinwheel up, right foot back, and bring it through. Good. Let's do that one more time on each side, my friend. And jump forward, right ankle, boom. Left thigh, balance. So many different ways to get into these poses. I'm always like a kid in a candy store. It's always wonderful to have you to work out with. It really is. I get so excited about these, especially these collaborations. Having Dean over in Texas doing this with us. It's marvelous. All right, reverse warrior, right foot back and reach. Extend, extend, pinwheel into scorpion. Woo. Smooth it out. All right, one more time, forward. Boom. Left ankle, right thigh. I hope I'm doing the right one. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night and realize, oh, I forgot a part, or I, I did one side twice. Oh, these are the things that keep us instructors, our yoga instructors, up at night. Pilates is different. You just do repetitions. All right. Next exhale, left foot back, reverse warrior. Ah. All right, inhale up, 
little David Copperfield, and then kick it back. Whoa, okay. <laughs> David Copperfield got excited. Now let's bring it back to downward facing dog, and we're gonna let Dean Pullman of Manflow Yoga take over from right here. We'll see where he's at. Dean, my friend, you're on. All right, hopefully you guys just had a nice flow with Sean. We're gonna slow it down, go into some strength building here. So I want you to go back to that same squat that we had at the beginning. So feet about shoulder width distant, toes pointing just slightly out. Squeeze your legs toward one another, knees behind your toes, push your butt way back, hand down, and then lift your sternum up. Again, squeezing your legs toward one another is important. If you don't squeeze your legs toward one another, you're not using these muscles on the insides of your legs and you're contributing to imbalances. Arms out in front of you, palms facing up. It's gonna help open up your shoulders. So you're doing something with your arms instead of being lazy there. Make sure your knees are behind your toes and then work on progressively getting lower here. But make sure you're keeping your spine flat. So you're keeping your core really strong here working on core strength, and then try pressing your core between your thighs to get even more engagement in your core and also some hip flexor engagement. Just keep your butt back, keep your arms facing out. We're gonna do three more breaths here. So slow controlled breaths in and out of the nose. Sean, hope you're having fun. I know I am. Try going a little bit lower, just keep those knees back. Make sure that when you're doing a squat, you're feeling it in your butt too. If you feel pain in your knees, it's because you're not using your butt and you're weak. Sorry to break it to you. Let's go down a little bit lower. Pull your knees back. One more deep breath. And then slowly stand up. Press your hips forward. Squeeze your glutes. All right. And then take your feet out wide. Pressing the outsides of your feet into the ground. Pull your butt under your torso. So now you'll feel stretching in the fronts of your hips. Engagement in your glutes and your thighs. And then turn your left foot out. Sorry, let's see, left foot? Let's go left foot out. And then bend into your left knee. So your hips stay facing straight out to the side for warrior two. Reach your tailbone down toward the ground. So still aiming for that straight line from pubic bone to shoulders, and then sink deeper into your left knee. Make sure that your left thigh is parallel to the outer edge of the mat. If you don't have a mat, make sure that your middle, that your knee is tracking over your middle toe. Your glute should be really engaged here. So external rotation to your hip to engage your buttock, your muscles in your butt, and then lightly press your right hip into your left hip. Bring your arms out to the sides. Press your arms in opposite directions, and then lightly turn toward the right. Look toward the left. Excuse me. Look straight over your left hand. Shoulders relaxed. Sink deeper into your left knee, and then squeeze your legs toward one another. So getting that inner thigh engagement that we talked about before. Shoulders relaxed. We're gonna do three more breaths here. So a long warrior two hold. If you want, go progressively deeper into this. So as you inhale, maintain, lift. As you exhale, sink deeper into your knee. Just make sure that you're not leaning your shoulders too far forward. You're keeping them right over your hips. Two more breaths. Woo. And similar to me adding yoga to my workout routines when I was in college playing lacrosse, adding Pilates isn't a bad idea either. So the more types of physical fitness you can do, the stronger your body will be. One more breath here. And then go ahead and straighten your leg, pivot immediately into the opposite side, turn your right foot out, bend into your right knee, make sure that your right glute is engaged, knee over your ankle. Hips still facing directly out to the side. So make sure your hips aren't turning to face forward, but you're keeping that left hip pulling back. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Straight line from pubic bone up to your shoulders. Arms out in opposite directions. Press your fingertips in opposite directions. Pull your shoulders down. Feel the muscles in your back. Pull your chest open. So you're working on engaging those muscles. 
inside your shoulder blades and then squeeze your legs toward one another again looking straight over your right middle finger so that you're getting this range of motion in your neck if you sit at a desk a lot you're probably not doing that so it's important to do that make sure that you're pressing in the outer edge of your back foot that's going to get a stretch in your ankle range of motion in your ankles is important even if you're not a runner because we all use our legs we've got three more breaths here remember we're holding this for a long time so you can really focus on the technique feel stretching on the inside of your right thigh stretching in your torso and your biceps and your chest and engagement in your back squeeze your legs toward one another you got one more really long deep breath smiling at the people on the on the on the trail as they walk by with their dogs and straighten the leg Let's bring your foot back in all right and then turn your heels in we're going to go into a haka or goddess pose if you're not familiar with my channel for this you've got double front warrior legs and by that i mean double external rotation both your glutes engage tailbone reaches down chest leans back and sit down into a very deep whew, stretch for your groin really tough on your thighs try to bring your hips forward lean your chest back so your shoulders are on top of your hips no arching in your back keep your core really strong and engaged here and then bring your arms out in front to help counterbalance lightly lean back See if you can squat down a little bit lower. Now, I've heard this song with Sally coming up, bring it down. I forgot what the song is called, but I've heard a lot of people pair this with a, a song that allows you to bring it up and down. I don't do that. I hold it the whole time because that's harder. <laughs> so we've got three more breaths here. Let your butt sink down, pull your hips forward, externally rotate your thighs. Try to pull your knees back. So this is strengthening woo, your lower body. It's also stretching your groin. Two more breaths because I can't count breaths. See if you can go down a little bit lower. We've got one more breath. See if you can get a little bit more upright in your chest. Lean back, arms out. One more breath. All right, and stand all the way up. Woo. All right, bring your feet in toward one another. All right, strengthening is fun. From here, let's flow down a little bit. So toes together, arms at your sides, palms facing forward. Big breath up, lift your arms. Exhale and fold down. Keep your knees toward one another as you forward fold. Look behind you and then step your right foot to the back. Moving into a runner's lunge here hands on either side of your front foot. Make sure that your knee is behind your toes here. So don't let your knee go past your toes like this because then the pressure is all going to your knee. You want your glute to help your knee out here. Squeeze your left hip back. Squeeze your right hip forward. Pull your body forward. Again, keep your butt back though. Keep the back knee lifted. So squeeze this thigh tight using both legs here to help out. We're going to go into an airplane lunge from here. Arms along your sides. Top of your head. Press it up and forward. Chin toward your throat. Two more breaths here. See if you can sink down a little bit lower. And remember to subscribe to Sean's channel because he's the man. Sink down a little bit lower. Make sure that your knee is right on top of your ankle. Back thigh engaged. Arms open so your chest is stretching. All right, and then lower your hands down. Let's step up to a forward fold. Relax your head and neck. No tension in your neck. No wrinkles in the back of your neck. Knees bent as much as you need so you can get the stretch in your lower back. And then pull your body forward for a half lift, looking straight down at the ground. So you're keeping a flat back, straight neck, and then fold back down. Step your left foot to the back into a runner's lunge opposite side. Knee over your ankle. Wow, I just, I just started sweating. Cool. Squeeze your left hip forward. Squeeze your right hip back. Pull your chest up. Poke the top of your head forward. Squeeze your back thigh really tight. Don't let this knee sink down to the ground because, one, 
you're making your left leg, your right leg do all the work then. And also, you're not gonna get as deep as a stretch in your hip flexor. Try squeezing your legs toward one another. Again, that inner thigh engagement we talked about, and that's gonna make this a lot more difficult. Bring your hands off the ground, arms along your sides, palm facing down, top of your head pressing forward. Two more breaths here. Make sure that your core is engaged, that you're not leaning up so much so that your back starts to arch, but leaning forward so that your core is working to hold you up here. Push down through your right hip, pull your left hip, your back hip forward. One more breath. All right, lower your hands down. Step back up to a forward fold. Release your head and neck. Look back behind you. And again, bend the knees as much as you need to so you feel a stretch in your lower back. Half lift, pull your body forward. If you want, bring your hands up to your shins. If you're not so flexible that you can keep your hands on the ground and flatten your back or hands on the ground. Top of your head pressing forward, feeling this in your lower back, your core and your hamstrings, and then fold back down. All right, drop your butt down, pull your chest forward, squeeze your legs toward one another, arms up overhead for one final chair pose. And you can have your feet, your knees uh, touching with your big toes touching, or you can have your feet about hip width distant. Just make sure that your butt is way back, your arms are up, your hips are level, so not one hip in front of the other. Arms extended, so you're feeling stretching in your upper body. Drop your butt down a little bit more. Let's go three breaths here. Really burning out on these squat and lunge positions because this is what's gonna strengthen your glutes. This is gonna help with building muscle. Slow, controlled movements. That's what it's all about if you wanna build muscle. Flowing is good too. You want a balance of all of, this, all of these things, all of these movements, but uh, this is good stuff. One more breath here. And then slowly stand all the way up. Hands back to center, shoulders relaxed. All right, Sean. Your turn. All right, let's begin the cool down. Bring the feet hip or to the outside edges of the mat. Little mudra. Why don't you lace your fingers together and just draw the arms back. Good. Get length in the muscles, length in the body. Just a sliver of softness behind the knees. And keep that neck loose. Total body workout. Strength. When we say strength, we mean control, precision, a balanced body, everything works together, the mind and the body are connected, so whatever activity or whichever sport you do, you will do it so much better with these kinds of workouts. <sighs> On every level. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> really open that chest. <sighs> All right, the pyramid stretch. Take your right foot forward, left foot back. Hope you can see me. Lengthen those legs, walk those hands forward. Each exhale, lengthen from behind the knee. If this is too much, you can take the hands on the foot. I got something stuck in my foot. Every time I film, I mean, I film outside all the time. I only film inside if there's a blizzard. Even then, I'll film outside. <sighs> Every time I film outside, I get something like pine needles, something bites me. Arm gets swollen up from a horse fly. All right, let's do pyramid, other side. Lengthen right here. Each exhale, lengthen from behind the knee. Just keep stretching. Okay, I'm not bleeding. That's good. Sometimes I'm bleeding. All right. <laughs> All right, let's bring it into pigeon. Bring your right leg forward. One of our favorites. Big hip opener. Slide that other leg back. Hands down if you want. Walk forward. Move a little side to side. Big hip opener. I like to add a little movement and unearths the tight areas that we feel there are always some tight areas <sighs> fantastic all right let's go to the other side pigeon left leg forward get it back get right over the center you want to be right here that's uh crew is off playing tennis over there. They're very unreliable. So I'll just do it myself. Only Addy stays with me. Good, side to side. 
you can, you're welcome to walk the hands even further forward. Bring it to a straddle stretch. Take the legs out. Do this one every night while I'm reading, while I'm writing, doing arithmetic, <laughs> watching my uh, old movies. I love watching old movies or mystery science theater at night. <sighs> Take the hands here. With each exhale, just walk forward. <sighs> That's up to you. I'm just going to walk into the grass here. <sighs> Big stretch for the hamstrings, the calves, the lower back, the hips. <sighs> you want a little more? The little Van Dam method here. Uh, take the hands here, a little kumbate, and press those legs open. There we are. All right, rise up, side bend, up and over. Try to grab the toes. If you can't, work your way towards it. Always getting a little further each exhale, taking us a little further into the stretch. Great stretch for the lats too. I love pull-ups. They do a lot of pull-ups two or three times a week, all different kinds. I guess you could say I have somewhat of a fetish for pull-ups. Okay, let's twist it. Take the, um, well, whatever hand is right here. I don't know if I'm mirroring you or not, but whatever position you're in, you grab this leg and then twist. The other hand goes back here. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift a little bit. Exhale, twist. Good. There's a book back here. All right, inhale back to the center. Let's do the uh, side bend. Here we go. Up and over. Draw that shoulder back. Whew. Got to stay limber. Stay hungry, stay limber. We can bring it all into this total package. Hmm. That's just remarkable. Isn't this remarkable? All right, now let's twist. Bring it up and over. Sure, it's bunching up. Just a fantastic workout today, my friends. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Got over 440 videos on here. Ah, like the video, appreciate that. Keeps the videos coming, subscribe. I said that. Comment below what you think. Share it on with everyone, all your workout buddies, social media, and the about section. Get G uh, Dean's channel and also order his new book, Yoga for Men. Let's bring it in. Whew. All right, so thanks for watching the workout. Sean, thank you for collaborating with me on this. Uh, I hope your channel gets a lot out of this. Uh, Sean Vig fans, hope that you subscribe to my channel. Sean and I are both yoga dudes. Uh, we've got a passion for sharing fitness and a passion for helping people improve their health. So if you like Sean, you'll probably like me. Um, and uh, Manful Yoga followers, um, if you like me, and if you don't like me, go subscribe to Sean's channel. He's an awesome guy, a lot of workouts. Um, He's got a different style, but again, it's good to do different things, to do different workouts. And I like watching his videos. He's a pretty funny guy. He's got a lot of fun uh, dialogue in his workouts. Um, I guess I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys later.